Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, Raven's Crochet. I am Sarah, and here's my furry feline Raven. Say hi. Say hi everybody. I hope everyone is having a great weekend. I have a surprise for you guys today. I haven't done this in a little while, but um, I wanted to show you some stuff. I'm not working on much of anything right now. Uh, one of my colleagues has paid me to make a large throw blanket. And what I'm doing is using a bunch of solids that I have and I'm making a, just a bunch of gray squares. And then I'm going to use a gray tonal, like self-striping gray type of yarn. It's one of the ombre yarns from Red Heart. I'm going to use that to go along the borders of each colored granny square and then sew them together with that gray yarn. I think it'll look really great. It's going to be for a gentleman. So if you have any ideas on colors, um, feel free to let me know. I've got blues and greens and reds so far. I don't want it to look too rainbowishly, too rainbowish or too girly. So, uh, or if you have any um, design ideas, I, mean, I only have like five squares made. I'm doing about 10 rows with each granny square and I'm using a 6.5 millimeter hook with your standard four weight yarn. So just something easy peasy. I have until Christmas to make it so I have plenty of time. But in the meantime, I want to do a giveaway. Yay! Um, so I have like so much stuff to give away. The box I have is only eight by eight by eight. So some of it might be crammed in here a little bit. Now, I do ask that you are a subscriber, and if you're new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. Again, my name is Sarah. My channel is named after my furry feline. One of the main reasons because she's my heart, other than Jesus Christ. Um, Raven is my heart, and it's good to let others know, in case you are allergic to cats, you know, that my yarn is, even though all my yarn is stored in plastic bags, Raven is with me in every single room, and... So her pet dander might be here and there. Now, the good thing about Raven is she doesn't she doesn't climb and dig throughout all my yarn. I'm not one of those people that's going to come home and see just yarn just strong everywhere. My heart goes out to people <laughs> like that. If you have an animal that, that strews your yarn all over the place and you come home to a big old knotted mess, and I'm, I'm sorry for you. <laughs> it's funny. So, uh, let's see here. First things first. I was cleaning and organizing. Um, I'm getting like, this past week I've been getting a bug out bag um, prepared. A bug out bag, if you never heard, it's one of those emergency bags to where if there's a crisis or you need to leave suddenly, you know, you have a bag full of um, supplies that you would need to survive. Flashlights, extra clothes, um, some toiletries, um, folder with important paperwork in it, you know, that type of stuff. So the first thing I found when I was cleaning everything was an unopened magazine that I bought from uh, Barnes & Noble. This might be a couple of years old. Um, I've never opened it. Um, it's by the yarn company Crochet. Yarn, or maybe a magazine company. Doo -doo -doo. Here it is. Never opened it before. And it also has an extra booklet in the back with patterns and stuff. Nice a little booklet in there. So I thought that would be fun. Uh, yarn puzzle. Look at this. This is from the Dollar Tree. Isn't that pretty? All those little solid balls of yarn. It's only 500 pieces, so it, it won't take very long to make it. This would be something good to do for like if you have like a small group of people that like to gather every once in a while and crochet. And this could be like a fun project to do off the side. This isn't yarn related, but I'm, I'm really into rainbowy stuff. And when I was a kid, I loved Lisa Frank. So here's a pamphlet of stickers. I've got two pamphlets of this, so I'm giving one away. There are 600 stickers in here. And auto collants, it might, might be just being a different language. Yeah, 600 stickers. So you can see a little bit. I'll flip through. So these would be really great if you have like grandchildren or something, or if you like to melt stuff all the time, or if you want to sticker this, sticker the heck out of a box you're sending to somebody, a care package or a birthday gift, uh, stationery. 
here's the llama band-aids i forgot to include this in one of my last giveaways and let me get them. let me get the ones that are out of the box real quick there we go Let's see if i can find them I found him, I found him, I found him. Okay, I just wanted to show you what the bandits look like before without opening up that box. I like my t-shirt, by the way. It says, Jesus is King. I bought this off of Amazon. Isn't it pretty? It's so rainbowy. It's got like rainbows in the in the lion fur. Because you know the lion is the king of the jungle. And Jesus is the lion of this jungle. Okay, so the llama stickers included are your standard whites. I think you get like seven band-aids of each color there's whites there's purple if you look closely you can see a little heart kind of like on top of the bum <laughs> lower back cute and then you've got rainbow llamas llamas so those are really cute and then let's see i had to include some yarn of course here's some yarn this is some of the yarn that I ordered from Ice Yarns a couple of years ago. This is a standard four weight yarn. This is like a warmer type of yarn. So with the fall season coming up, this would be good to, like if you have like a solid, pick, pick any solid color from these yarns and you can add it in and you can make a scarf or a shawl or a hat and scarf. You can make a baby sweater you can make you can make a lacy shirt covering that would go on uh, over another shirt just a few ideas uh let's see here let me give you the specs on it it's called baby twist okay i'm sorry this is a five bulky weight it's 15 percent wool 85 percent acrylic 50 gram ball 70 meters the label calls for a five millimeter hook, but you can go up to five, up to 10 millimeters, depending on what you want to make and if you want your um, crochet to be lacy. So this is called Baby Twist in the white, um, I'm sorry, in the black rainbow and then the gray rainbow. So four of those. And then with some yarn, here's a little bitty crochet hook bag with some brand new hooks. Hi, baby girl, you checking out the yarn? See, Raven's, Raven's up here on the couch now. Checking out all the stuff I'm giving away, huh? So these are some brand new hooks I ordered off of Amazon a while ago. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hooks. And they're all different colors. I like that they're all different colors. So that way, if you don't remember, um, if you don't want to look at the size hook you need and you memorize the, the millimeters, the sizes on the colors, you can just grab the color and go. And then there's also a smaller hook in here. The smallest one, I believe, is 2.75 millimeters. It's the yellow one. The smallest, the smaller crochet hooks are really good to use when you have a stitch that's too tight for the um, particular crochet hook that you're using. Like if I'm using a six millimeter and my stitch is too tight, I don't wanna go back and undo it. I'll grab the two or three millimeter and I'll go in there and I'll jiggle it just a little bit to make it wide enough for my um, six millimeter to go through. And excuse me, the 2.25, it's going to be the light lime green one. 2.25, that's the smallest hook, the, the lime, lime green one. And it's just in a cute little leopard bag. It's a little furry. And this bag itself is washable. And then here's some llama clothespin hangers. What I like to use these for is to clip up cards and pictures and little papers, little flyers like that. I have like a, this, this big old wide little mesh thingy that I crocheted. You guys have seen it before in previous videos. I have this blank piece of wall that's about six feet long and it's only about one foot high. So it was the perfect place to crochet this little mesh net. And then I have cards and pictures strung across there with these little clothespin hangers. And that's really neat. Here is a pack of cards uh, called Yarnology. Your basic poker cards, but they have llamas on them. Isn't it cute? Llama! So on the back, that's what the cards on the back will look like, each card. But again, it's just standard poker cards. So this would be really fun if you have like a crochet community group. Um, if you want to take a game or something, or if you have a small gathering where, where you um, gather with friends to crochet your knit, 
This would be really, really fun to play cards with while you're crocheting. Now, I have a notebook I'm going to add in here. I need to go grab that real quick. Hang on a second. I got one more thing to grab. And then I have, where did those bookmarks go? Bookmarks, where did those bookmarks go? I'll grab a bookmark that I have in one of my books over here, and I will talk about that in a second because I'm going to include one of those bookmarks in the giveaway too. Here's the notebook I'm going to be putting in the giveaway so that you can write down crochet notes, tips and tricks. What I, love, what I love to do with a notebook is when I go on YouTube and I watch YouTube videos and I get ideas and inspiration, I can just quickly jot down ideas and those tips and stuff that I get from other YouTubers. Um, and this is just a good little place to collect everything. Now this is not even used. No written, haven't written on any of the pages. It's fuzzy. It's got like little fish tank in it. Isn't it cute? And knowing that I have three fish tanks, this will be a reminder that it's from me. And it's for you to use for your crochet ideas and your tips and tricks. Or if you just want to use it for something else. You can use it for your medical um, notes. You can use it if you're keeping track of what you eat. Um, you can use this for anything you want to, really. But it's just a reminder that it's from me with my fish tanks. And then here's some rainbow pencils. Brand new rainbow pencils. Not even sharpened at all. You get, let's see, four. There's eight of those. Here's a sharpener. And I like these kinds of sharpeners because it collects all the shavings inside. And you can just dump it out later. So rainbow eraser. I told you I'm into rainbow stuff. So a rainbow eraser. Isn't it pretty? So it'll match the pencils. And then a couple of other little things. These are just kind of random and they're really good for like everyday stuff. This is an unused bottle of Hard to Resist by Essie. This is really good for your nails. Um, if you don't paint your nails, this just leaves like a very, very light very pale tint of pink on your nails so it pretty much look, looks clear but this is um it's nail strengthening polish and it smells really good too and this is just something that i added on to help you open it and apply them this is really good it's really comfortable in your hand when you're applying your your polish it's easier to hold you won't drop the the bristle as, as, as easily and it's just a lot easier to open and close the bottle with that on there and then I have a whole bunch of these, so I hope you don't mind I'm adding these in the giveaway. These are just screen and glass cleaning wipes to go packets. These are really handy. So your tablet, your phone, your computer screen, whatever you're watching my videos on or anybody's videos on, you can use these to clean your screen with. If you wear glasses, you can put these in your, your crochet bag and your notions bag, and you can like wipe your glasses with them if they get smudged. So there's about... Let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, I don't know, 14, 14 of these. I have tons, I have a whole box of these. And I don't go through them a lot because I don't wear glasses anymore. I did wear eyeglasses previously, prescription. I know that my left eye is just slightly slowly been getting worse over the years. But my eyes are not so bad to where I have to have them. I'm, I've been able to function without them. So I thought about just saving the money and, and not buying glasses until I actually actually really have to have them because I don't have to have them right now. Um, if nothing else, I can use that money to donate to the poor or to the hungry or something like that. And then one last thing I'm going to add in here. Two more things actually. Let me get one out and show you. I've got a stack of them somewhere. I've ordered like five of them off of, five bundles off of um, Amazon already. I've been passing them out at work. I gave two bundles um, to my church, giving them to friends, mailing them to family. Um, this is a um, bookmark. It's called Put on, the, Put on the Full Armor of God. We need Jesus more than we realize. Um, now, I have, respect, I have full respect for your beliefs. Everyone is entitled to their free choice. But I believe we all need Jesus more than we know. Um, because he is literally the only way to heaven and to eternal bliss and happiness. 
So if you don't mind, I'm going to read it. It's um, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power, put on the full armor of God. This is Ephesians 6, 10 to 11. Put on the full armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For our wrestling is not against flesh and blood, but against the principalities, against the powers, against the world's rulers of the darkness of this age, and against the spiritual forces of wickedness in this heavenly places. Therefore, put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. Stand, therefore, having the belt of truth buckled around your waist and having put on the breastplate of righteousness and having fit, fitted your feet with the preparation of the gospel. Above all, taking up the shield of faith with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the evil one and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God for which I am the ambassador in chains, that in it I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. Ephesians 6, 10 to 20. So I'll add a couple of these in with the giveaway so you can have one for you. Put it in your Bible, your favorite book you're reading. You can give one to a friend or family member or a colleague. Most of my, uh, let's see, I don't know how many colleagues I have. There might be 40 people per shift and there's three shifts so that's over 100 people i have given away well over 100 um, bookmarks at work and there's only one person only one person who denied um receiving one only one so every, everyone else was just thrilled to have it um let's see here one last thing i want to add to the giveaway just for shirts and giggles i found this isn't it cute a little rainbow llama her name is Lola. I just picked her up recently. Isn't she cute? Her name is Lola, and her tag says, I'm a cute little llama, all cuddly and furry. Take a ride on my back if you're not in a hurry. And she's got little beans in her bottom. So if you have grandchildren or, or a young child in the house, this would be cute or adorable. Or if you just want to keep it for yourself, I thought about crocheting a lovey for this, which you can do. You can choose like some white yarn or some sparkly yarn. You can make a lovey with this and give it to a baby if you want to. Just take the tag off. Um, so that's pretty much it for my giveaway. Um, not much else going on. I've been watching a whole bunch of stuff on YouTube, doing all bunch a whole bunch of research, reading articles. Um, learning about professionals who have researched this and that when it comes to the rock most struck um the salt pillar of lot's wife um nasa being able to track back the, the partial eclipse that happened the day jesus was crucified they were able to prove that jesus christ was crucified april 3rd 33 a.d i was just so amazed with that like there's so much proof out there that jesus and the bible are real and I've been posting a whole bunch on my Facebook page. Now, I was absent from Facebook for about 26 months. And for the past about two months now, I've been posting just a lot of stuff about biblical truth. Um, people that have rapture dreams. People that actually spend a lot of time in prayer and talk with God. And this one man in particular named Brandon, he's being shown all kinds of stuff. And if you're interested in seeing any of those posts, you're welcome to follow my page. Um, let me see. I don't have any. I'm going to write down my name for you so that it doesn't get misspelled and you can find me on Facebook much easier. I don't need all of that. Just my notebook. Thank you. So let me write down my name. It's Sarah Carmen. All A's. Best way to remember my last name, gotta have a car, gotta have a man. Technically, I have neither, but I have a, an electric scooter because I only work a mile on the road, and the current man in my life is Jesus. So, I'm, I'm good. So, there's my name, S-A-R-A-C-A-R-M-A-N. It's just like that. You're going to see a picture of me wearing a rainbow scarf, and you're going to see Raven. You're going to see me holding Raven. So, her face is in the picture with me. Um, so that's me. You're welcome to um, friend request me, leave me a message, whatever you want to do, if you're comfortable with that. My um, profile is now open to the public, so anyone and everyone can see it. I don't have anything to hide. I don't have anything I need to protect from the public. 
I want everyone possible to see my post because there is some stuff going on with biblical prophecy and there's some stuff that's going to happen. And I'll tell you one thing, Trump is going to win this election. Yes, we are all praying for him to win the election, but he will win the election. A lot, a lot of us, um, a lot of us who have um, deep faith and are following all this prophecy stuff, we actually really know that Trump is already going to win. Um, they're also saying some other stuff. And I know there's some people out there that are going to roll their eyes and ignore and la, la, la. But come middle of next year or late next year, you're, you're going to be like, what? She was actually telling the truth. Brandon was actually telling the truth. Brandon's a really good guy. His, his channel name is Last Days, if you want to go look him up. He actually prays a lot for us. And he gives us the word of God. And he talks about the prophecy and everything that he's shown by God. So when you look at my uh, my Facebook page, you'll see me holding Raven like this. Something like this. And I'll be wearing a, a, a rainbow scarf. So that's all I have for now. Um, with this giveaway, um, I would like for you to be a subscriber. It's particularly best to be a, be a subscriber because it'll be easier to draw your name up in the... Um, I use the, uh, what do I use? I use the, um, the YouTube random comment. See, it's been a while since I've done this. It's the YouTube random comment picker. So I'm going to be doing that. And, um, as far as what I want you to do to enter the giveaway, just leave a comment. I'm not picky. Leave a comment. Leave, leave a single emoji face. You can leave me your favorite scripture. You can uh, leave me a joke. Um, just, you could say what you like about my channel. I, I don't care. I'm easy. So just whatever you want to do, as long as you make yourself an original comment, don't reply to anybody's comment because you will not be entered. And the YouTube, the YouTube random comment picker does not select comments from the replies. So make sure you are going at the very, very top of the comment section. Um, there's a little empty message bar. Don't hit reply on anybody's message. Just create your own original comment in that message bar, and then you could, you could submit that. And that will be your entry into the giveaway. Now, as far as jokes go, t you know, tell me a joke if you want to. But the joke I have for you today is actually a fun fact. Did you know that when you smile, you can't feel your tongue? Got you. Look at you smile. Look at that pretty smile. <laughs> Got you, sucker. Yeah, that, that totally got me, and yeah, I posted that on Facebook, too, so it was, it was funny, and it made my day. So I hope I made your day with a smile and with a giveaway and with all this cute little llama stuff, the band-aids and the llama animal, the deck of cards and the clips, and then, of course, the yarn puzzle. I mean, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a yarn freak. Yarn freak! Um... I have another couple of videos coming up next. I'm going to be uploading my testimony. And I've already told you the couple of things that happened. I had a candle go missing while I was rebuking evil. And then I asked all my guardian angels to gather around. And my cat looked around the room and freaked out and she took off. So that was cool. Um, there's one thing else I was going to say and it just totally escaped me. I'm going to go ahead and end with prayer if you don't mind. You don't have to stay for this if you don't want to. So I do thank you very much for watching my videos. But I want to pray for you and everyone else around me as well. So dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ and by the Holy Spirit, we come to you in prayer, Lord. I pray for everyone watching this video. that May you bless them. Give them peace and comfort and love. If they are going through anything, please help them with that. Please listen to them. You know what is in their hearts and you know what they need before they even ask for it. So I pray that you bless them with what they need. No matter what they're going through physically, emotionally, spiritually. If it's the love of their friend, family member, colleague, anyone that they want to pray for. I pray that you lift their prayers up, Lord, and bless their prayers and bless them. I pray that you protect the animals and the babies the most vulnerable members of our society. Please protect them at any and all cost. Please ask, I ask the guardian angels to gather around, add your strength, 
your comfort and your and your guidance and your power to our prayers as I lift every single person up to you all around the world who does not have Jesus in their hearts. We need Jesus so desperately, more than we could ever imagine. There's so much stuff going on biblically happening in the world right now, and things are only going to get worse. So I pray for all of our guardian angels to, to help us with our prayers, add strength and faith and power, and envelope us with, your, with their wings Surround each individual, Lord, with a golden dome. Keep your eyes of love upon them and their guardian angels' wings around them in a loving hug and protect them and guide them and give them strength and faith and love and comfort, food, shelter, water, whatever they need. And I pray for the people who do not have the blessings that I do. Please bless them, Lord Jesus. I do not want any more blessings. I have tons, and now I'm trying to bless others with my gifts and my yarn and my giveaways. So I thank you, Lord Jesus, for everything that you are doing and all that you are doing. I pray for the world leaders, and may they make continue to make right and good decisions for the people um, of the countries that they are leading. And thank you, Lord Jesus, for everything. I pray for you as well, Lord Jesus Christ and Father in Heaven, that may you continue to be strong for what is going on um, with many of your children, Lord, who are being so wicked to others around them. I pray that you cast out demons and I and rebuke them in the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray that you limit the power of evil with every single prayer. And all this I ask in your name, Lord Jesus, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Thank you guys so much for watching. May Jesus bless you. May the Lord bless you. And I hope you guys have a great week. Bye-bye.